Yeah, um, obviously it was a good night for the club um, to get a win against a team that's flying high in the Premier League. But we we knew before the game that we we had we could win, and um, yeah, we went in with full belief, and luckily that's what happened. What were you thinking when that free kick left your boot? But it was funny before it, before I took it, I thought it was going in because um, I'm usually all right at them. So um, yeah, when it got lined up, I said to Volksy just before, "This is going in the top bin," and then it never did. So oh well. What do you think a night like that says about Sheffield Wednesday and uh, the potential this football club has, has had for a long time that, that is still maybe yet to be realised? Yeah, I think it's what we all know. Obviously, um, it's easy playing good on those night um, on those one-off nights. It's um, can you do it every single week when we have we have games like that? And uh, hopefully, that's what we're aspiring to to hopefully bring to the football club. Um, obviously, I've played in big games before. Um, yeah, I love playing in them and you want to play in them every single week. I'm not saying games every week aren't big, but um, you know what I mean with the crowd and the capacity and, and the expectation. That's what we want every single game. Do you thrive on a on an atmosphere like that? I bet you've played in a few like that, especially at Rangers and places like that. So is it particularly particularly good for a player when you've got a night like that? Yeah, it's amazing um, when you've got capacity crowds, expectation, um, pressure on your shoulders to perform. Um, every single week it's it's draining sometimes but um, no it's it's what you want you don't want to be playing well you don't want to play football to play at small grounds with no crowd under no pressure that's that's not what we're here to do and um, obviously if you can get those big nights more often you're usually one of the better players what do you think it says about the squad that you can go to Southampton and give them a game you can beat Newcastle in the FA Cup two Premier League teams yeah it's, well it shows like I just said it's easy to perform on those nights a one off um, I think the task would be uh, for us to perform like that every single game. Um, obviously, Southampton, Newcastle are performing at that level every single week in in their respective leagues, and yeah, that's where that's where we all aspire to, uh, to be at the level of. I think it's eleven for the season now. Can you get up to twenty? Is that something you're looking at? Yeah, I should be able to. Yeah, um, I always get double figure uh, double figure goals, so that that didn't surprise me. So um, yeah, hopefully, I can get to. A, a big amount and contribute to the team and that's obviously what I'm here to do um, it's funny because I thought the Wickham game was my best game out of the three games um, and I didn't score or set up a goal in that game that's just how football goes Team's on a great run um, do you feel really well placed at this point I know there's still a lot of time to go but do you feel really well placed to go win promotion now? Um, yeah um, we've always felt that um, I think the last three four games our performances have matched our results where I think the five, six games before that, we was getting results, draws, wins, but we weren't playing to the level we we expect. And we was to be fair to the team, we was grinding out results and and wins and the little draw every now and then when we weren't playing well. But obviously, if you can get the performance right more often than not, you're going to win games. And I'm not saying we was lucky, but luckily for us, we were still getting the results when when we wasn't performing too well. But I think the last four, five, for three or four games, we've played really well. Um, and yeah, they've coincided with three great results, so hopefully we can carry the performances and the results on because we've got some big games coming up. The other teams, Plymouth and Ipswich, who are up there with you, have been splashing the money around a bit recently. Do you take notice of, of that as players? You know what, I, just, I, I didn't even rate, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even know Plymouth had signed anyone. Um, I've obviously seen um, the Ipswich stuff on pops up on the Instagram and that every now and then. Um, obviously saw Mass went there, so I've seen that on his Instagram. Um, so yeah, uh, what other clubs do? Obviously, I I don't really I'm not really bothered by it. Will there be a few texts shared with Massimo Luongo as, as you know, sort of rivals trying to win promotion? Nah, nah. I sent him a little message when he signed from calling him a traitor, but I was only giving him some stick. Um, no, Mass is a brilliant player. Um, obviously, it's not um, it's a lot of help to Ipswich that he's gone there because I'm sure he'll improve their team, like he did ours when he played in it. So um, yeah, I hope he does really well, but not not as well as us. And uh, with it being Fleetwood this weekend, are the Rangers fans texting you saying you've got to beat Scott Brown's team? <laughs> you know, a couple of my mates who are Rangers fans have messaged me about it a couple of times. But you no, know, I've obviously played against Brownie in old firm games five, six, seven times. Um, fortunately, he got the better of me most times. Um, he was a he was a top player and yeah, a good a good battler on the pitch and yeah, he was hundred percent full throttle and I'm, I'm, his teams are like that by the analysis I've seen. So. Um, no, he was always really hard to play against. Um, good on the ball, strong, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing him this weekend. He's got a new haircut now, so he was bald when I played against him. <laughs>